Hootie hoo, fellas, this is Super Zora 1000, welcoming you back for more Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. Alright, we're gonna head into the next level. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. <laughs> that was kinda epic. Anyway, anyway, we're gonna head into this level over here. Is there anything, is there anything I'm missing? Is there a level I'm missing? Okay, no. Wizard Peak. This is the this was the song that I was talking about. Of course you probably would have guessed that in the last video. Since I couldn't stop talking about it in past videos. This song is amazing. But it's not the best song in the game. It's one of the best, but it's not the best. The best song in the game is actually in the next overworld. It's a level in the next overworld. I'm not, I'm not saying it's a, that exact level, the overworld. Of course, you guys wouldn't be that misunderstanding to actually think that, think that I was intending it to sound like that. Anyway, Stuart Copeland, love that guy to death. He is amazing. Ugh. Best song in this overworld, I swear. This song is amazing. That's all I gotta say. Giant monster with a club! Attack! Sub Zero. Chicana! Sorry, I won't do that again. Just had to reference Pablo Francisco. Excuse me! But it's kind of funny that he zapped me as soon as I said Pablo Francisco. <laughs> I really like the way this level is set up. In fact, there's something really cool that. In fact, there's something that's really cool that I want that I'm going to show you as soon as we get to that one area. Jarvis, shut up. I even love how this hallway is lit up, and as you see right here by the arrows, you're probably guessing it's a boost pad. Well. You are correct. There's another boost pad which I never use because I don't see what the point is of putting two boost pads here. But okay. I just usually go back up there. Cuz yeah. You know what? Just because they put it here, I'm just going to use this one. Of course, I think you're supposed to use that boost pad to get up here, but I don't know. You can use the other boost pad to get up to this one area, but just be I'm just doing that to just show you. And part of that is because I never really use that boost pad at all. Ugh, I am such an idiot. You want to know why I'm such an idiot? Because I didn't show you the thieves... I didn't show you the thief's face. I am that much of an idiot. That is how stupid I am. Whoa, 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 whoa. And there's another one of those chests I'm gonna... Yeah, there's another poop. There's another boost pad which I, which I never need... Which I never use. <sighs> Gotta stop slurring my words. And... Sparks, you didn't grab those gems. I hate you, Sparks. I don't care if you're my health bar. You should be able to grab the gems. That's your job. It's not like this is a job for me. How dare you didn't grab them? 
Whoa, 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 I'll get those later. And I died. Yes, I know, I dropped. What's the point of just... Continu just continuing to glide when you know that you're just gonna fall off? I think there are three thieves in this level. Even though I don't hear one laughing over here. Because I always... I always remember. And... No, there's... I think there's only two. Okay, here's what I was gonna show you. You see, you know, around here it's daytime, but when you look up at the sky, it looks like nighttime. I just thought that was really cool. I just thought that was a nice touch. Whoever did the art for this game, props to you, dude. Now, I'm gonna try to show you some glitch that I discovered someday, and I probably doubt it's ever gonna work again, but... Yeah, it didn't work. Whoa, whoa, hey, did I just trigger the glitch just a minute, a minute ago? Let me try that again. Okay. Okay. Let me try, and if this works, I'm going to be really happy. Oh, this work already. Yeah, I doubt I'm ever gonna encounter that glitch again. Dude! You have no right to hit me with your... I don't even know what you're hitting me with. <clears throat> oh, okay. I'm gonna stop... Squeaking my voice there. Hexus. Guess what he says? Thank you for releasing me. Yep. And that's it. That's all he said. It's just, thank you for releasing me. God, I can't stand that line. So overused. And I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this, but this is actually my least favorite Spire game in the trilogy. Yep. But I'm going to explain to you why. Well, it seems all you're doing is, you know, collecting dragons, collecting dragon eggs. Not collecting dragons, rescuing dragons, of course. Ugh. And in the next couple, in the next two games, there are actually many games that you do in each level. Listen carefully, Spyro. There's a secret area in the artisan home. I already got it. What he's talking about is the Sunny Flight area. You should remember that area by now. From part four of this Let's Play. Let's see the awesome lighting again. I'm serious. You could use that at a rock concert and it'd still be awesome. Dude, don't- And I died. Yep. That's what I get for being distracted by certain things. Okay, shut up. Just kill the en- Kill the enemies. Okay. Let's go back up here. My favorite Spyro game in the trilogy, however, is the one after this, which is the second one. Of course. Obviously, you know, because it's the first Spyro game ever released. The first of the... The first of many Spyro games. The first in the trilogy. And some... Even say that the... Those are the those three, the only Spyro games worth talking about, and I'd have to agree. The newer Spyro games aren't very good. Legend of Spyro is a literal joke to the original trilogy.
Okay. At least this game is better than the fourth one. Ugh, and the dragonfly. I know I heard the dragonfly was horrible. And we got all the dragons. Let's get out of here.